we often read news reports about madrasai madrasai has started spreading what is this about let us see in today's video hi friends i am dr karanath this is scientific doctor channel in this channel every week a health related topic is explained via video if you want to see such videos subscribe to this channel also press the bell icon adjacent to it to get instant notifications on new content this week's video is about madrasai madrasai is just a colloquial term used to describe epidemic conjunctivitis conjunctivitis is infection of the conjunctiva conjunctiva is the outermost covering of your eye especially over the the white portion of the eye which is called sclera the plastic like covering is called conjunctiva okay the central black portion is called cornea and the surrounding area is conjunctiva so if that is infected by viruses or bacteria you get conjunctivitis even though i said viruses and bacteria as the cause of conjunctivitis the most common cause is viral as like other viral diseases the root of transmission how do you get the disease we often think by seeing a person with conjunctivitis you also get it no that's a totally false idea about it the actual truth is it's like a cold it spreads through your secretions nasal and oral secretions often people with conjunctivitis also have symptoms of cold so it spreads when person speaks sneezes or coughs and these droplets are transmitted into the air when you inhale them you may get the disease also by fomites these are common objects which you come into contact with if a person has touched some common object you also go and touch it and inadvertently touch your face or nose again this may result in the infection being transmitted to yourself so that's how it spreads and so this should refute the myth about having these dark glasses to prevent the spread dark glasses is for the symptoms if you have photophobia if you have increased sensitivity to light that's why you wear dark glasses not for the fear of spreading this disease okay what are the symptoms in conjunctivitis you get irritation in the eye you get redness of eyes you get increased tear secretion and you have sticky mucus discharge coming out of the eyes you may have slight photophobia that is sensitivity to light but if this photophobia is much more you are not able to see the light at all then that means you have involvement of the cornea sometimes called keratoconjunctivitis or the problem exclusively restricted to the cornea itself that is dangerous that is an emergency you have to rush to your eye specialist immediately for the treatment but if it is restricted only to the conjunctiva and you have just redness irritation and sticky eyes what should you do most often these are viral infections they are self limiting they get better by themselves if you have symptoms of cold you may visit the doctor to get treatment and just by treating that cold your symptoms related to the eye also will get better so there is no need to separate treatment for the eye and you have redness without any other danger signs like photophobia you may just wait for it to resolve because as i said it is airborne it tends to occur in epidemics so many people tend to get it at the same time so that's when this term colloquial term madras eye is given madras eye is not a specific name for a disease it is just a name for any infection causing an epidemic conjunctivitis how to prevent this conjunctivitis from happening to you as in any other viral infection you have to maintain your personal hygiene so you have to hand wash you have to maintain cough hygiene and hand hygiene since it is transmitted through fomites whenever you have touched any common object you should maintain the hygiene that you should not touch your face or nose after you have come into contact with common objects how to treat as i said most often it is self limiting sometimes it may be treated with medicines which may treat the cold very rarely you may require eye drops 
but the important caution in administering eye drops is these should not be administered without the prescription so wrong administration can result in dangerous consequences including loss of eyesight the second mistake is you can't share your eye drops for example a person in the household has an infection he has been prescribed an eye drops so this is shared with other family members also this might lead to dangerous consequences don't do this you may clean your eyes with clean cotton balls dipped in warm or clean water do not self medicate do not rub the eyes do not share medicines friends this would have cleared your doubts on madras eye if you like this video share it among your friends and relatives if you want to see such videos subscribe to this channel till we meet again bye